moving on to the next topic, which is kind of a uh, a dual topic here. Uh, we'll, we'll start out with this one first. So the Galactic Star Cruiser uh, for cast members uh, was announced <laughs> as a 50% discount for cast members. So generous. Uh, it's very generous. Um, so um, – you're you, you're in union negotiations with your cast members. Mm-hmm. You're you've made a pronouncement this week that you will not budge one cent. And that was, I believe, a quote uh, on giving them a raise from the from the pre- the preliminary offer that they gave them, mm-hmm. which I believe was like a, a dollar increase over what they currently have. But yet somehow you feel compelled to offer them out of the kindness of your heart, a 50% discount on a $6,000 room. So, you know, for 2,900 bucks, you can bring three friends. And even though you're having a hard time paying the rent and buying food and filling your gas tank, but Hey, listen, you know, just come over and, and we'll give you a discount. Yeah. Why not? Uh, so, you know, to, 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 to kind of quote one of my favorite lines, from one of my mo- favorite movies, uh, it, that is very obtuse. Um, and I really, I, I just can't believe that people in the PR department at this company are that disconnected with reality that they would actually, during these negotiations, I mean, it's fine. If you want to do this over the summer, after you get past this, mm-hmm. fine. But to do this this week, when you're like literally fighting with the union, and and you come out and say, oh, by the way, here's a discount on 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 an experience that un- that most people probably aren't even interested mm-hmm. in going on. They're not because this is round three of begging people to come. Um, and and I will say this real quick because it's kind of off of this topic a little bit, but I recently watched um someone else on a, on a different podcast. Uh, and I'll give them credit. It was uh, on WDWNT, Tom Corliss. And I watched his review uh, uh, of the um, third time that he went on. And I will say that he he swayed my opinion somewhat. Uh, not enough to obviously stay there because I'm not that huge of a fan. But I, mm-hmm. I understood where he was coming from a little bit better. That for some people... Uh, especially if you're bringing, say, your parents or family members along, he was he 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 was very complimentary about the experience, per, predominantly because of the cast members and how they made him feel. And I've always said the cast members work super hard there; uh, they're very invested uh, in that experience, and I give them all the credit in the world. And it's unfortunate that Disney has not supported them enough. Uh, to make this experience a more affordable and be a more accessible, um, you know, for, for, for the average, you know, the average consumer. Um, so, you know, having said that, uh, and Ken and I have talked about the Galactic Star Cruiser for a long time. And we, you know, we, we've, we still have our running wager yeah. that this is going to be going away. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we both agree that we think that this is at some point going to turn into, um, you know, I- I'm going to joke around and say that it's going to be a DVC hotel, but um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Welcome um, to DVC. Yeah, DVC on uh, Batu. Uh, but, um, you know, it- it's going to be a hotel at some point, and and there's going to be maybe an additional cost to the experience. Uh, I don't know if we talked about this, Ken, the last time, but I thought that you could actually go two ways with this. You could go and have an actual, uh, an actual room, you know, just a, the room experience where the rooms mm-hmm. are decorated in that mm-hmm. fashion. Yep. Uh, and you're not immersive in in, in it. You come and, and go as you please. And then you have the other experience where you are part of, you know, what the current immersion is. Uh, but at a different price point. I, I think, uh, yeah, we did talk about it in one of our uh, previous shows, and I, I, I think we're right because, I, like, right now you could do the uh, – they have that lightsaber room 
where you, you're, you're hitting the beam with your lightsaber and they're shooting the beam out at you and you're testing. And then you can also, uh, man, you could captain the Galactic Star Cruiser where you go into the, like the wheelhouse and that. Well, I'm talking the like lightsaber, it's the lightsaber, the lightsaber training. Yes, the yeah, lightsaber yeah. training. You can also uh, man the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. I think all of that will stay in place, and that would be an upcharge. Walter and I go, and we want to shoot rockets or do a lightsaber. You could do that at a certain price. Mm-hmm. But if you know Walter wants to go and just, I want the experience of staying in the Galactic Star Cruiser, not dressing up, not interacting, and being able to come and go as I please. I think that will be an option too. Remember, folks, I think it's only about a hundred rooms. So you could take fifty rooms and sub them out to people who want to pay high end and want that full immersion, and then you could play. But let me ask you this, Walt. Say if they do that, they go fifty fifty, right? Mm-hmm. So we want people that want to be full immersed, and then we have other people that just want to come and go. Can that work? Where you have a star cruiser where <laughs> Walt's down there with his wife and he's walking through and regular co's out to go to his car to go to Magic Kingdom. And then you got 50 people rolling down the hallway, you know, with lightsabers ready to take on you know, the first order. You know what I mean? Can it work? Yeah. Well, I think you can because you could actually have it set up the way DVC has it, where you have the cash side and you have the, you know, the DVC side. So you could have a kind of separated in that sense where if if i'm like heading out to go to the parks i'm going out a different exit than maybe you would be going out um you know if you were say going to you know you know uh lightsaber training or something like that so i i think there's logistically i think you, you would have to they'd have to you know be more creative uh, which that seems to be quite difficult for them lately the creative department doesn't seem yeah. to be wanting to work very hard uh, but um, but it could be done. I think it could be done. There, I don't think it's ever going to be completely scrapped. I agree. Uh, I think I think there's going to be some. It something has to come out of it because they've invested way too much money in, into it. Agreed. Uh, and and I think they're going to have a hard time admitting that they've they've you know really overshot this and made a mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, hopefully they'll they'll come to that conclusion relatively soon, and then to kind of make it more enjoyable for everybody. Because, you know, like you said, I may not want to go, you know, for a two thousand dollar experience, but I might want to stay at a room that's maybe three four hundred dollars a night and give it a shot and say, hey, I'm going to try this out and see what it's yeah, what it's all exactly. about. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now, Walt, so. you forgot. 